Dun 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 dun. All right, so got a wood burner here. As you can see this is the this is the razor tip SSD Tem 10 amp detail burning detail burning system. Basically, it's a pyrography kit wood burner, and it has a dial to control the heat of the pen, and a little on and off switch, and you can switch between two different pens. Uh, I've got several different attachments. These are the two I use most often: one for doing lines, one for doing shading. Check it out. So this pen, these pens get really, really hot. The tip is glowing bright orange right now. And uh, basically you use this for wood burning. It's a kind of art. All right, so as you can see, when we flip this on, turn this dial all the way up to 10. I usually draw with it around five or six. We can pretty effectively burn whatever lines we want into this piece of basswood. That's just, it looks like it's just been sliced right out of the middle of a tree. There might be a tree out there with a slot missing. Oh yeah, that's real good. Personally, the half the reason why I like doing wood burning is because the smoke billows up like that and it just smells really good and soothing. They can even smell better depending on what kind of wood you use. Man, I should really try it on cedar sometime. Just cuts right through it. And as you can see, the blade with the heat is sinking into the wood, and then it comes back out again. It actually is pretty deep in there, and you can keep sticking it even deeper and deeper if you wanted. You could just you could just burn a hole right through the wood, I suppose. But hold on, I have even I have something. This one is pretty beefy, almost too beefy for me. A little bit too scary. It's less accurate and precise, and I really like accurate. Precision. I'm actually gonna go back to the the store-bought one instead of this crazy mumbo-jumbo of a wood burner more of a wood incinerator Whatever I'm doing right now, it's extremely satisfying and then I just hopped right into it The pen really does go up to about 1400 degrees 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, but I really draw with it. Maybe what is it like? half mat 700 ish degrees if the dial really works half and half like that who knows but it's fun wood burning i would recommend it to anyone you can start easy cheap 15 to 20 dollars walk out the door with a wood burning kit and a piece of wood or two and just blast away at it and have fun never look don't set yourself up for failure by you know like trying to make a super the don't try to make the ma um, the masterpiece of your lifetime with a wood burner, your very first time using it. Of course, this is the same for any medium. The first time I tried using watercolors, for example, I was all cut up and I didn't know whether to put the water on the little palette, the little, it was like a little tap, like a, like a Mentos. It was just like a little, it looked like a pill I could swallow or a piece of candy. I didn't know whether to put the, the water on top of that first or, you know, kind of scrape little shreds of it onto the paper and mix that with water or, which order things could go in. So I don't think it really matters. First of all, you can do whatever you want with art. There's no like right or wrong way. Maybe there should be some weird established artist that'll be like, you gotta do it this way. You gotta do it this way, but you can do whatever you want. Scrap, you know, you can you can put your little watercolor tablets into a mortar and pestle and grind them up, uh, grind them up into a fine powder for all, I, for all I care. But look, the point is don't, I, I didn't try to create a perfect masterpiece. I don't, I don't know if I ever try to create perfect masterpieces, but be realistic with yourself and the first time you buy a wood burner um, From the arts and crafts store. I don't think they have them many other places The internet of course has them all over the place the first time you do this Just grab a couple of pieces of wood. I use basswood here uh, Which 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 is popular among wood burners and pyrographers as this the fancy way to say it um, It's popular on, among us. I guess I'm one of them uh, because of its uh, its light color and it burns dark and then it also doesn't have a too much of a pronounced grain because when you're doing this, especially with the little blade tip that I use for most of the lines, uh, the blade, it, it kind of sinks into the wood a bit and it can easily get caught up in the grain. Also, some other woods have more variance as you go across a piece of wood between the very, the hardness of the wood within the piece of wood itself. And then you get all surprised and ambushed by how thick your lines are. How it's, it's, it can get really frustrating and you know, probably if anyone was watching, it'd be kind of comical depending on, you know, how you react to stuff like that. But anyways, grab your two pieces of wood, three, a few planks. They're like a few couple dollars each, okay? And it's well worth it. 
with your new wood burner. I'm not saying you need to go buy a wood burner, but you can if you want to start. It's never too late. You're never too old. Never too. You could be too young. Uh, yeah. And uh, walk out the door. What? Put on your favorite TV show or put your headphones in with your favorite music. Probably don't do this at the coffee shop because it does generate a smell, which is extremely soothing depending on, you know, what kind of wood you're burning. But I think I, don't, I haven't, I haven't smelled like a, a bad smelling wood. The only time it smells terrible is if one of my hairs fall out, one of my hair falls out and gets caught on the tip and it smells like burning hair, which is awful. Although I have heard that some people like that. Um, but you know, just sit down. Um, I feel like I keep getting caught on little tangents. Sit down with your piece of pieces of woods, and, and I keep mixing up my my plurals. Is and and just burn away. Just make shapes, make tones. Just practice. Kind of just keep. I don't know why I was saying shake. I wanted to say shake hands with the. Get to know it. Right. Have a little conversation with it. The first time you meet someone. You don't propose to them, usually, unless you have had a, you know, very intimate online relationship or you're a great pen pal. But look, just like the first time you get your wood burner, you shouldn't go too crazy. Just make some lines, make some shapes, you experiment with the different tips. They almost always come with different tips. Sharp ones, duller, the duller ones are generally for shading and the sharper ones for making lines, stuff like that. And uh, just... Uh, ease into it, get comfortable with it. And then after a while, you'd be like, wow, I think I know how to make a bunch of lines I like. I like these lines. I like those. I don't really like how those were turning out. And then you'd be like, I think I want to draw something with it. Unlike me, a lot of pyrographers uh, do actually make things and burn shapes into wood uh, that actually look like things, which is a cool thing to do. And I, I encourage that. But Or you can take my direction and just make a bunch of weird swirly shapes spiraling across the wood. And also another cool thing is that you can get a lot of things made out of wood. Besides just planks, which I usually use, various planks of various woods, you can get boxes, spoons. One time I bought a spoon, just a wooden spoon off Amazon for like $2. I wood burned a Batman symbol onto it and sold it again for $12. See, that's pretty good. You can do that. It was like a really easy Batman symbol too. You know, boxes, spoons, guitars, uh, guns, like the wooden part, and, uh, you know, whatever else you can think of. You can actually, I mean, maybe I'll go out one day and wood burn a living tree, if that's, is that inhumane? I, I mean, I don't know. As long as it's my tree, right? Or someone gives me permission? I don't know. The, the bark would be the problem. Maybe like one of those trees with really smooth bark. Uh, poplar? No, what am I thinking of? Anyways, it would be cool. I don't know. Anyways, you should do it. You should try it. Don't talk yourself out of it. Um, I'm not... I mean, if you are t t talking yourself out of it, don't do that. I'm not saying everyone has to do this. You can stick to your own thing. It's fine. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, you can see at the end of this one, I splashed some uh, some UV reactive paint on there, some black light stuff, just for fun. And then at the end, I covered it and with two coats of Brie Wax, which is a type of furniture polish, which I just put on there to protect it and keep it from fading, keep it from getting scratched. It works good for me. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. You're all awesome. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye.